It's time to bring you sports here on News Prime. And Ghana's contingent for this year's Youth Olympic Games are expected to leave the country for Argentina on Saturday for the Games. Ghana will compete in athletics, beach volley, swimming and weightlifting. Athlete Solomon Diafo is determined to bring home gold despite his poor training ahead of the Games. The track is no good. You know, it's for our training. You have to serve the potos and even with our sports, so you get champion and things. So. But I have to manage this like that because there's no, no track in Ghana you have to use. So I'll try to manage this one like that. In, in terms of the pressure on you, looking at what Matabisa did in this same Youth Olympic Games, how are you dealing with that? Uh, there's more pressure on me because there's a few days I'm getting so many calls. Mm. But if you go, what will you bring you to Ghana? So I, I know that and I hope of all, all the training I've, I've, I'm, I'm doing and I'm continuing doing, I know that I'll win the medal. All the three medals, I know that I will not lose one. I'll bring one to him. Certainly very confident there ahead of the Youth Olympics. Let's um, move to England. Liverpool legend Jamie Carragher has slammed Paul Pogba following his latest running with Manchester United boss Jose Mourinho. The French World Cup winner stared down the Red Devils gaffer at training with tensions rich in boiling point between the pair. Their confrontation has led Carragher to side with Mourinho whilst insisting the ex-Juventus ace isn't as good as he thinks he is. From a present Manchester United player, let's um, move on to a former Manchester United player. And Cristiano Ronaldo will be available to face his former club, Manchester United, in the Champions League next month after being handed a one-match ban by UEFA. The governing body confirmed that the 33-year-old Juventus forward will be suspended for just a single game next month's clash with young boys. That is, after its um, control ethics and the disciplinary board decided not to increase the automatic penalty after meeting today. Cristiano Ronaldo will be available to play former club Manchester United next month after UEFA ruled he must serve only a one-match ban for his Champions League red card. The Juventus forward was sent off during the old ladies' 2-0 victory over Valencia on match day one following a tussle with Los Chairs' Jason Mourinho, where he appeared to put his hand on the centre-back's head. It was Ronaldo's first red card in 15 years of playing in the Champions League. Juventus play United in Group H at Old Trafford on the 23rd of October. A three-match suspension would have seen him also miss the return fixture in Turin on the 7th of November. He will definitely miss Juve's next Champions League game, though, against Swiss club Young Boys on Tuesday. Now Germany has won the right to host the 2024 European Football Championship fending off competition from Turkey. 17 UEFA executive committee members voted in favour of the German bid at the organization's headquarters in Lyon, Switzerland. The decision is another blow to Turkey's dreams of hosting a major sporting event. He has previously failed a bid to host Euro 2008, 2012, 2016 and 2020 Olympic Games. So, the, Euro, the host of the Euro 224 will be Germany. That was a bit lukewarm, wasn't it? Germany have a proven track record of hosting major tournaments. Uh, the last was 2006 World Cup. Euro 2024 will use nine of the stadia used that summer. It's a four-time Turkey have missed out. So now we know the destination of the next four major tournaments. Uh, from a European point of view, the next Euros in 2020 will be jointly hosted involving 12 countries. And then there's the first Winter World Cup in Qatar. So much controversy surrounding that, which will mean just a break of a year and a half until the Euros in Germany in 2024. Two years after that, the World Cup will be co-hosted by 16 cities in the USA, Canada and Mexico. Let's get into golf now. And Justin Rose and John Rahm will lead Europe out in Friday's opening session of the 2018 Ryder Cup, while Tiger Woods will partner Patrick Reed in the four balls. Ward number two Rose will head to the first tee alongside the Spanish debutants as they take on the big hitting American duo of Brooks Kopka. This will be the two players that you have chosen to represent the USA in match one tomorrow morning. Brooks Kepka and Tony Finau.
Thank you, guys. Thomas, please tell us the names of the two European players they'll be up against. Justin Rose and John Rahm. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now for match two, please, Jim, reveal the two players you have chosen to represent the USA. Dustin Johnson and Ricky Fowler. And Thomas, which two European players will be facing? Rory McIlroy and Torbjorn Olsson. Thank you very much, guys. And in match three, Jim, who will be playing for the USA? Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas. Thomas, who have you chosen to represent Europe? Paul Casey and Tyrrell Hatton. Thank you very much, guys. And finally, in match four, Jim, which two players will be representing the USA? Patrick Reed and Tiger Woods. <laughs> Thomas, who have you chosen to represent Europe in the final four balls match tomorrow morning? Francesco Molinari and Tommy Flaybert. Thank you very much, guys. Europe versus the United States of America for the Ryder Cup. And that's your sports. My name is Hans Mainsando.